You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. The next question comes from uh, Rocket City QC on Twitter. Uh, he asks, uh, wh- "Do we have any recommendations on good labor history books?" Woo. Labor history. Uh, yeah. Good luck. I mean, you're not going to read it. You're not going to hear about it in school, are you? Right. You know, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I, it, I, I mean, the one that I've been reading here lately is actually uh, the Machinist Labor History book. Mm. It's uh, extremely old, but it, it goes into the, the boomers, uh, the where the but actually the machinists uh, were the original boomers. Where that term come from was machinists that rode the rail cars from uh, from around the southeast and northeast out west, and that's how. The machinist union built their union uh, from Atlanta because that's where originally where we started was in Atlanta and spread out west as the railroads gained momentum and as people started traveling. The the journeyman would hop the rail cars, go to the next big town and spread the gospel of unionism. Uh, and that's kind of where that term come from. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean... I don't know. There's so many good ones out there, but you're you're not gonna find them in your local bookstore. You're probably gonna have to go on uh, some of your al- more alternative uh, websites to pick pick up those books. Yeah, I'm a big fan. This isn't like it is. Uh, it's more of of kind of a, a how to organize these books that I'm about to talk about, but there's also some good um, contemporary history. Like these these are actions and union drives and strikes that are good to look at in, in the contemporary world. And and the author is Jane McAlevey. Um, she has some really, really good books on, on like how to organize, how to invigorate your union, how to form a union. And in uh, giving you kind of these steps and and these how this how to guide so to speak. She goes through examples. It's not just like I'm telling you what to do. It's like this is these are best practices and these are examples of that in action. So uh, the two books from Jane McAlevey that I've read are um, a collective bargain, and the second one is um, no shortcuts. Those are really good books about uh, about labor history. Another one is Hammer and Ho. Um, I have heard lots of good things about that. That's next on my queue. Um, I'm going to be reading that here in, in just the next month or so. I'm going to pick that up. And that's about uh, black sharecropper organizing in the South, um, in Alabama specifically. So that's a really interesting book. It's a really relevant book to you know Alabama labor history. Um, I'm really excited to crack that open. I hear it's kind of dull, like it's a dull read, but it's got a lot of good information in it. So um, I'm looking forward to reading that. I think that'll be I think that'll be really good. Um, labor notes. Labor notes. Labor yeah, notes. just read read labor notes. Yep. Just subscribe to labor. That notes. is a you know Chris was on the show what mm-hmm. uh, three or four weeks ago, and that was probably the original. I mean, it's kind of like a rag. It's not really a book, but it's right. I, what is it? I, it's like a magazine. Yeah, it's like bi-monthly or mm-hmm. maybe quarterly. But yeah. that's real, real good. But also their website's real good. They've got yeah. a lot of good books on. I there. mean, they put everything on the that comes in the magazine. They put it out on the website, don't they? Yeah, but I mean, you know, give them a few right, bucks. Right, right. Yeah, what is it like five dollars? Uh, right. To to subscribe to their website and right. keep those folks employed. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Labor Notes for sure. It's it's really good. It's got lots of good, um, like I was talking about with Jane, lots of good how to organize kind of stuff. But also, like it doesn't just say, like, this is how you do it. It goes through examples of like really good contemporary stories. And, and oh, and, and one of the... One of the stories in Jane's book was about PASNAP, those nurses that we talked to. That's how I found out about PASNAP is reading Jane's book and reading about the just the amazing things that these nurses have done uh, up in Pennsylvania and uh, uh, this um, nurses union. And so that's why we brought them on because we th- we we thought they were so we thought they were so cool. Um, so we've got on the line we've got Joey on the line. Joey, what you got for us? Hello, hello. Hey, I'm still here. Good deal. Yeah, yeah. So you're on the air. What you got for us? Oh, 
Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Joey. They they change up the uh, board on us every week, and uh, you aren't listening to us. Well, that's all right. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, man. Hey, listen, I just started listening to your show about oh, three weeks ago. I didn't even know it existed. I'm, well, I'm not too much into WVNN uh, <laughs> other than get my kicks in the morning listening it. Listening at the the right wingers, but long story short, long story short, I'm a 38 and a half year retired union member, former union president, uh, ten terms. Wow, was wow. a member of the Alabama FLCIO executive board for four terms, which consists about 16 years. Uh, North Alabama Labor Council. Oh. Uh, so I I really just appreciate what y'all are doing. I'm going to give you uh, a book that's not a book, but it's a, it's called BNA, Bureau of National Statistics, whatever. Uh, it's it's really good union reading for union members. Uh, and, and basically all it is is uh, uh, arbitration cases that's been arbitrated for the last 50 or 60 years, but you will find some really interesting stuff. I mean, every kind of discharge case you ever heard of and how it was ruled on and why it was ruled on. But uh, long long story short, and I'll get off the phone. Uh, If there's any way I can help you all out, now, I don't do the email business and all that, but if you'll uh, give me an address, I'll be glad to make a... A donation to keep you on the air. Sure. I appreciate and, it, brother. Uh, stay, we're, we're coming up on a break. Stay on the line. Uh, one of the questions that we got earlier was about good labor history books, and we got a couple comments from some union folks that, that were good. A subterranean fire um, is a recommendation uh, from a, a good brother. Um, it's a good history of unionism. And another one that I've also heard, I've not heard of subterranean, subterranean fire, but I've heard a lot of good things about a history of America in 10 strikes. Yeah. Yeah, I've That's, got that one at the house. Yeah, I've not read it. It's on my list, um, but somebody mentioned that. So and pick one, that one up. That's a good one. Yeah, and, and uh, one that we were t- – I was looking up uh, in during the last segment, as, and we mentioned Labor Notes. You can actually mm-hmm, buy mm-hmm. his books on Labor Notes, and he's got about seven or eight. Uh, but Robert M. Schwartz is a writer. He's a lawyer, I think, out of somewhere in the Northeast, but he writes – uh, books to help unionists as far as mm. the rights of stewards, how to win past practice grievances, things like that. Is I've I've got all of his. I think I've got all of his books, right. and uh, that was basically where I cut my what I cut my teeth on as a steward whenever I first got elected, and they're mm. very beneficial on explaining what your rights are, what your rights with the company, what the company's rights are, because a right. lot of people don't realize you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can make demands on the company, and they they're they're legally required to provide you with information that they do not want to provide mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Favorite labor songs, David. What are your favorite labor songs? Oh man, anything by Rage Against the Machine. You know, <laughs> I mean, I I, I don't really have you. We were talking. What well, we were discussing that before the show started. I'm not a big like old school folk. Woody Guthrie, some of the great. Some of the great labor songs I don't get into them. I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm I, I guess coming up as a Generation Xer in terrible times through you know Ronald Reagan through you know killing killing the air traffic controllers mm-hmm. through George Bush through Bill Clinton with NAFTA. You know yeah. I'm not picky on who I hate on as far as politicians <laughs> go. I I I I grew up looking around and watching my dad retire at 49 mm-hmm. with a pension and thinking I was screwed. Right. I I I'm I'm a more angst guy. I yeah. hate the political movement in general and I, I, Yeah. Yeah, so What's I, your favorite ones? My favorite I know ones. You got some I've got some. Ones. So like I I grew up um in a really religious family yeah. and like 
we would not listen to anything except Southern gospel. I'm talking like my parents didn't throw on 102.1. They didn't throw on 104.3. We listened to 99.9 all day, every day. I listened to the Florida Boys. I listened to the Lefevers, the Cathedrals, the Bill Gaither vocal band. I'm th- like, and that's it rubbed a- off on you because you're a heck of a singer. Oh, uh, well, I, I mean, appreciate you it. are I appreciate a heck it. of a singer. Um, so... So that's the kind of music that, that that I grew up listening to, and it just stuck with I just love it. I love Southern Gospel, old shape note hymn music, right? And so uh, when I started getting into the labor movement, I found out that there's a bunch of old shape note union yeah. songs. Yeah. And I was like, man, I tell you what, this was like <laughs> made in. for me. And so I started digging into it. There's so many. If you want a, a good list of them, Go find yourself a copy of the Little Red Songbook by yeah. the IWW. That's got a. It's a really good list of like a hundred or so shape note union hymns. That's really good. I love Solidarity Forever. There's Power in a Union, Talking Union. But all those um, was based truthfully. If you go back, yeah. and listen to the 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 the, or the the rhythm of the song, they're based on old. All gospel music. Yeah, yeah there's Power in a Union music. was based on there's Power in, a, in the Blood. Exactly. Um, the uh, solidarity forever was battle hymn of the republic um you know so it's it's there's a lot of uh, it, you know it sounds like it's a lot of overlap because in <laughs> in some cases they literally just took the rhythm and changed the changed the uh changed the words so uh find that songbook i love that songbook it's my favorite I and you can pick it up but you can you can download it off of iww's website can't you can you? download it yeah, off their free. website uh you could get it for i got it for like four bucks from a uh, worker co-op um, print shop is pretty yeah. neat. Yeah, so. if you can buy, if you buy it, buy it from a union shop. That's for sure. Or a worker co-op. Yeah. Yep. That's where I got mine from. Is worker co-op. So uh, we're going to be taking some more questions. We've got a few more that came in uh, online. If you've got a question for us, give us a call one eight six six four nine four nine eight six six. This is the Valley Labor Report. Stay. T- Uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your time. Uh, if you want to see what we're up to throughout the week and get our snide quips about the news of the day, then you should follow us on social media. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Valley Labor Report. We're on Twitter at Labor Reporters. I'm on Twitter at Jacob M underscore A-L. David is on Twitter at Radical Unionist. That's spelled R-A-D-I-C-L Unionist. If you miss part of the show and want to go back and watch it later, search YouTube for The Valley Labor Report and subscribe to our channel. You can go back and watch the full show there, and we also clip segments throughout the week. And we also upload the program on more than 11 different podcasting apps. So you can see if we're on your listening platform of choice, you can go to The Valley Labor Report dot transistor dot fm slash subscribe and if you appreciate our work and want to help us stay on the air then consider throwing us a couple dollars a month on patreon.com slash the valley labor report